You've got mail. You've got mail. Well, alright, let's see what I got. I mean, I wasn't really expecting anything. I know I made an order like back in April with a, something of a... Okay, well, took long enough. Let's get right into it, y'all. Hey there guys, Man of the Vest here, and well, welcome to this unexpecting unboxing video. Now, why do I say I'm unexpecting? Well, because I was expecting this thing to be delivered by late September, but it's here now. By the looks of it, they shipped this out on 9-11. Of course, like it's in the title, it is from BDS Tactical. Now, before we get into the contents of this, when did I buy this? Well, it was way back in April, and like an idiot, I panicked by it. After the first stimulus check came in, I panicked by this when I really honestly should have had a plate carrier a year beforehand. But nonetheless, I finally got it, and I'll get into the contents of this later on, but for the cost of it, the initial total was about $285, shipping about, I would say, $20. The total cost came out to $305 for a custom stitch, custom made VOPS plate carrier. So, enough blabber jabbing, let's cut right into this. Okay, alrighty then. First things first, got some BDS Tactical Schwager, got a sticker, a little postcard for uh, additional gear. I'll bring this stuff up closer for you all to see. And there's another one right here. Alright, let me bring it closer to y'all. Sticker. One of the post-it cards for a single stacker mag holder. Fanny pack. And then another one right here. I'll have to read this up later on, but I think this is a veteran-owned company since 2008. Let me try to get the glare out of here. Another uh, little postcard here. Looks like a triple stacker uh, 556 mag holder. Then a backed hydration pack. Alright, let's get and see what's in the damn box. What's in the f***ing box? Ugh, I already see it in here, but y'all ready to look inside of it? Here it is. Oh, got a little patch here as well. <laughs> Pretty cool. But here is my plate carrier that I got. Now, let's get rid of this box here. Now, how did I have mine uh, customized? Well, first off, let's start with the shoulder straps. It was just the standard ones. I did get for my left side, I think it was a medical pouch, so eventually, I'll get myself a first aid kit so I can be able to have that at the ready just in case. On the right side over here on this pouch we got a uh, generalized, general purpose uh, pouch here. For the top here it's just standard, nothing special. And then for the front we've got a 4 mag 556 five, uh, stacker right here so it can be able to fit your standardized 556 five, ammunition and nothing in the back. And of course, as you notice, it is in Coyote Brown. Now, why did I get it in this and not in a camouflage pattern? Well, for all the camouflage that I have, I wanted this to blend in with the most of them that I have. And this was just the easiest way for me to be able to get it to blend with mostly everything. So, yeah, that's why I have it in Coyote brand, uh, Brown. Let me show you it up close. Of course, like I said, it came with this uh, little patch here for identification. Right 
right side, back, and then a medical pouch here. So, all right, now let's get my big chungus into this thing. Alrighty, finally got this thing on. Now the thing that I love about this that I'll get to in a review with this is in the back here. They do have a slit for the armor plate, but also you can be able to take this off and be able to adjust it from the back that way. Unlike some uh, airsoft carriers that I had back in the day where you had to literally fiddle around with it just to make sure that it actually fits on you. But this, relatively comfortable. I still think I need to lower this down a little bit, but I, my heart is like right around here, so I'd rather have it kept up high, like the way it should be. But otherwise, this is relatively comfortable. I actually love it. I do have already, just for demonstration purposes, some uh, 5.56 magazines. Now, right quick, I have my rifle over on this side there, just because of things still not being normal in 2020. So, let me be right back. Alright, I got finally got my rifle. Alright, so let me just see. Yep, pretty normal. It's This is definitely what I expected from the plate carrier. I really love this product now. And for literary reasons, I have their company for when my ass finally publishes my stupid novel. Their company is going to be in the novel as well. But... Definitely liking this. Oh yeah, it's definitely good. I love the vest already. For reasons, I'll just have to figure out what I need to do with the general purpose pouch here. But I can definitely have it at the ready. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up for uh, this, uh, this unboxing for the BDS uh, Tactical Vest. Later on down the line, I will be getting two uh, plates so I can be able to put it in the front and the back here. I'm also going to get some uh, identification patches so I can put this right up on the front here and let people know like my blood type and what's, you know, my designations and all that. So anyway, y'all, that's pretty much going to wrap it up from here. So I have been the man of the Mollyvis. It's time to gear up for the next overview slash review or unboxing or whatever else comes my way and I'll see y'all on the front lines.